Hey, how's it going, YouTube? This is Big J Hits. Um, I just want to do a video on Apple hiring process or interview process, however you want to call it. Um, this is my take. I just started. Today's my first day. Uh, I applied for Apple positions on May 22nd, 2014. I applied for a U.S. expert, uh, inventory specialist, uh, just regular specialist, and a service specialist. So those are all the qualifications that met mine. Um, and then five days later, on May 27th, I received an invitation to an Apple retail hiring event. Um, I had three time slots to choose from. Uh, you had 28 positions per time slot. Um, I chose 9 a.m. because I wanted the people to be fresh, real, real chill. Um, I didn't want their nerves to be all shot out because they asked the same questions over and over. So the the email stated, uh, come 15 minutes early, um, business casual, and the location where I currently work for Apple uh, through a temp agency, so I already knew where the place was. And then on May 30th, um, three days later, I received a reminder um, just stating whatever I had, you know, the regular email sent me, just making sure that I was still coming to the event. <clears throat> And then um, on June 1st, which was today, um, I arrived at Apple around 8.30. Um, everybody started getting there around 8.40. So they were just chilling in the front. I came in this. I just came in a little uh, polo and uh, some black pants because it said business casual. Everybody has their own preference or definition of business casual. Some suit and tie like a lot of people wore, but I mean, some others not. Uh, so you arrive in the front and they take you over to get your badge done, which I already had one because I work for Apple. Um, here's my badge. My name is Julian. Uh, get the little Apple badge. I don't know. There's a different. It's just like a guest badge. Um, but yeah, once you're done with that, they have you fill out a form for positions that you would like to apply for or are interested in. Um, your store preferences, whatever's closest to you, whatever you think you know that you want to work at. Uh, hours of availability, and any other Apple, I guess applications that you've used like OS X, um, iTunes. You know, like kind of obvious stuff. But then iWork. You know, all kinds of other programs, and then others that are not listed. <clears throat> so I'm rambling on. Uh, but yeah, so after that, you go to a room. Uh, they take you in a little room. Uh, the store that we were supposed to have the interview at was under construction, so they took us into a different room. They had to sit down. There's a bunch of chairs. I picked the very first chair in the front. Um, I just wanted to get a pretty good, <clears throat> you know, seat. <coughs> Sorry. Oh, man, what's going on? But yeah, um, so... Once that happened, all the employees came in, for the, the manager's employees, they all introduced themselves, what their positions were. They gave kind of a brief description of what it was. Um, it wasn't too much. Uh, then they had us do icebreaker. Um, so the person next to you, you were just supposed to ask them what their favorite job was uh, or favorite food, either or, and then present it to the front to everybody else, you know, stating, like the girl that I had, um, her favorite or her favorite job is her current job that she cleans for an industrial lighting company that does lights for the San Francisco Bridge because we're in California. Oh, uh, but yeah, that was pretty cool. Um, next, they did slideshows of the job description, so each one they kind of went into detail. Um, then they did another slideshow of the store locations, a lot of pictures um, about Apple Life, a little video with their motto. A lot of customer service stuff, definitely, so keep that in mind. And then right after that, they uh, asked us a question. You get us in a little group, and what are thoughts of why Apple was number one um, in sales? Well, in their respective category. Um, so we started to break off in groups. And then they switched, us on, they switched that on us. They were like, okay, we lied. We, uh, we want you to... Get in a larger group, so five to six people per group. Total of 28 candidates were there. Um, and they just did a group interview. Pretty simple. There was an iPad. Um, you slide it, you read it out loud. Um, 
answer the question, you pass it on, and anyone else wants to answer it. <clears throat> they ask kind of basic questions like, uh, in what situation have you ever gone above and beyond than the actual call that you needed to do? And then I gave my example, other people gave their examples. Um, try to use kind of retail-based stuff, if you have any experience in that. But anything should do. Some guy used something about a dance routine that he did, because he was a dance major, so... I thought that was interesting, but it was pretty cool. Um, what else did they ask? <clears throat> uh, what would you do? How to calm somebody? How to calm a customer down? It's just basic interview questions. You can go to glassdoor.com and check out the interview questions for, I don't know, service specialists or just any service job. Um, but yeah, that was uh, it was pretty cool. And that was at 9 a.m. and currently it's 4:41 p.m. But yeah, so far I'm just waiting. They said after the interview that um, we will be receiving an email, a confirmation whether we are proceeding with another interview or not. But they will definitely let us know by the end of the week. So I was kind of hoping to hear from them soon, hopefully in the next two days or so. Really crossing my fingers, man. Uh, I felt like I, I did okay, I did pretty good. Um, out of the six people in my group, I was... Top three, definitely. Um, the other three, they didn't really have too much experience. They were kind of nervous. Uh, one guy was really outgoing. He was kind of crazy. The dance uh, choreographer guy, he did pretty good. The girl and I, we did pretty good as well. But the other three or two people, I wasn't really sure about them. <clears throat> but yeah, um, in my experience, I work for Apple. If you want to know what I did, um, here's my badge. I work through uh, Pegatron. Uh, Pegatron is a company that Apple goes through to manufacture iPhones, like the iPhone 6 that's coming out. They are producing that. Um, currently, I fix iPhone 5s, so it's kind of like the retail uh, genius position, which is like a debugger, just fixes any problems. Um, I still have the 4, I'm just waiting for the 6 to come out so I can get it. I didn't really care for the 5 that much. <clears throat> um, definitely have a love for Apple products. Uh, like currently, I'm recording on an iPad Mini. Um, I have an iPhone. I have a Mini Mac computer. Uh, I mean, just just get yourself familiarized with all types of Apple products. If you ever own an iPod, which most of you have, I'm pretty sure. Uh, just certain things like that. So I hope this uh, gave you a little information. Oh, I'm gonna do a video about the email confirmation, what they say. Usually, if I don't get it, they'll just be like, thank you for your interest in Apple, but we're going to go on with other candidates. But, you know, it's a learning experience. Uh, the group interview, just prepare for that. It's different. Make sure to speak up. Don't be the shy one, because you'll get overlooked pretty easy. Make comments. Raise your hand. Be in the front of the line. Uh, that's all I got for you guys right now. Hope you enjoy. Maybe I'll see you next time. Hopefully I get another interview. All right, guys.